everyone and welcome to Sego window and today we're going to discuss how to analyze statically indeterminate structure or beams usually statically indeterminate structure are those structure which cannot be analyzed by static equilibrium uh, we have three static equilibrium equations that is summation of force in horizontal direction equal to zero summation of force in vertical direction equal to zero and summation of uh, moment according to uh, summation of moment about z axis equal to zero these three equations are called equilibrium equations or static equilibrium equations using these three equations we can find only three unknowns when our unknowns become more than uh, three then we cannot solve this structure or solve this beam uh, using these three static equation and those structures are called as statically indeterminate beam and uh, to analyze those statically indeterminate beam or structure we need to apply some method and moment distribution method is one of them and today we are going to deal with uh, moment distribution method uh, to deal with moment distribution method uh, we need to be introduced with uh, some parameters uh, there are mainly three parameters we need to deal with to use a uh, moment distribution method uh, first of all we need fixed end moment fixed end moments f e m fixed end moment means if we consider a beam with fixed support then load will be applied on this moment and if we apply moment if we apply load like this on this beam then there will be a moment at this portion uh, in this direction and this point it will be in this direction this moments if this beam is a b then this moment is moment a b and this moment is moment uh, b a these two moments m a b and m b a caused by this applied loads omega w per unit length if the length or a span of the beam is l <coughs> then these two moment a may be and m b a is called the fixed end moments we can find this fixed end moments using different formulas uh, as for example if the beam uh, is loaded like this way that is uniformly distributed load throughout the span then fixed end moments m a b will be equal to m b a and can be find by the formula omega l square by 12 similarly if we have a beam loaded this way a point load p and let me assume this distance is a and this distance is b and total span is l then the fixed end moments m a b uh, at this point a fixed end moments m a b will be p a b a square by l a square at the same time moment at this point m b a will be p a square b divided by l a square similarly we have uh, we may have some other loading patterns and for those patterns uh, we we can find fixed end moments formula uh, so i will not discuss about those formulas how we have derived it we will just use those formula to find fixed end moments all right after finding out fixed end moments uh, we need to distribute these moments that's why we need distribution factor distribution factor is the factor by which a moment distributed in a joint let us consider a beam like this if we have a beam like this and there is applied load this way or any other loading patterns then at this support point there will be moment in the uh, this direction and there will be moment here in this direction uh, let me assume this value as 100 and this value is 80 then we can see here is an unbalanced moment and the value of this unbalanced moment is uh, if we consider clockwise direction as positive then we will get 100 minus 80 that is 20 kilonewton meter uh, clockwise moment we have here and this uh, moment is unbalanced moment and this unbalanced moment will be distributed in these two member if it is a b c 
this unbalanced 20 kN moment will be carried out by BA and BC member. Then how many portion will be carried by B and BC uh, will be distributed by distribution factor. As per example, if we get distribution factor for member BA equal to A and the distribution factor for member BC equal to B, then this unbalanced moment will be carried by member BA will be 20 into A and moment BC will be 20 in into B. Then uh, here A and B is uh, are the distribution factors. Then how to find this distribution factor? We can find out by using stiffness factor or stiffness of member. Let us consider stiffness of member AB equal to K1. Stiffness of AB will be equal to stiffness of BA because AB and BA is the same member uh, and stiffness factor of BC is K2. Then distribution factor of AB, then distribution factor of member BA will be K1 by K1 plus K2 and distribution factor for BC this is distribution factor for BA and distribution factor for BC will be distribution factor for BC it will be K2 by K1 plus K2 then what is the value of distribution factor K1 and K2 the distribution factor of any member is found by using the formula 4EI by L and this is also called regular stiffness we use this formula for e by l for stiffness for the case where both the end of a beam is fixed uh, here this beam has uh, here a hinge support and here we can consider it is fixed because it is con uh, continuous at this point b but this point is not considered as, uh, continuous as well as c support is hinged that's why uh, stiffness of this member will be uh, reduced by some amount and distribution uh, stiffness factor of this member will be given by if you consider stiffness factor of this member it will be 3 e i by l and this is modified stiffness we can solve our problem using moment distribution method by using this regular stiffness as well as using modified stiffness uh, in our today's example we will use uh, regular stiffness factor that is 4a by l that is we will consider our member fixed uh, fixed supported at every point all right we have already understood fixed and moments distribution factor then we need a uh, distribution factor will be founded by stiffness ratio or stiffness factor we need another parameter which is carryover factor The term carryover factor has come from the term carryover moment, C-O-M, carryover moment. Then what is carryover moment? It is sometimes also called as induced moment. If we have a beam like this and if we apply a moment at this point, this is M-A-B then due to this moment a moment will be induced at this point also in the same direction and this moment will be the induced moment of MAB and this induced moment sorry this induced moment, uh, moment MBA will be equal to half of MAB that is we get if we apply a moment at this point that uh, then half of this moment will be induced at this moment uh, at this point then the factor half is called the carryover factor and this is our this carryover factor now we know all the parameters of moment distribution methods uh, here we have fixed end moments we will find those fixed uh, fixed end moments using some formula uh, we have uh, we already know this formula 
and using distribution factor we will distribute we will distribute this moments and using carryover factor we will further distribute it well this is our first part of moment distribution method in the second part of moment distribution method lecture we are going to solve an example problem and i hope all the things i have discussed in this videos will be more clear if you solve an example problem uh, in the next video